Hi, this is Millie Kay. It's Tuesday, May 2nd. I'm down at the Feather River where I usually record. I'll show you where I was last time a few days ago. It was right about here. And now that the water's gone down a lot since they turned the spillway off, I'll take you over to the riverbank. But keep walking. You can see that it's still a little bit wet and muddy. But you can get there all the way to the sandy part that was only in the distance on the last video. I'm going to take you all the way to the riverbank that we could not see last time. Last time on April 28th, I believe it was, the total river releases were about 43,000 cubic feet per second. Now, if you see this river bank, they drew down that release to the point right now where there's about 11,000 cubic feet per second coming down the river. The Hyatt Power Plant is putting out 8,000 cubic feet per second, but we're also getting some additional CFS from the Thermolito After Bay. So here's, you can see over there that rock that I use as a measuring tool is totally out of the water now. Across the way, you can see it's where the Yuba River flows in. The river's running kind of lazy today. And up there is, or down there is downstream where the river is headed for Sacramento. And then if I pan around and show you, a lot of this area here along the bank was underwater last time. Probably up to, well, you can see where the muddy part is. And then where the the dry sand is and there's different levels here so you can see this little sandbar I'm standing on now and it was in the distance on the last video sun's in my eye a little bit so I hope I'm getting my camera angles okay the levee's over there flood stage here is 80 feet flood watch stage is 65 feet and right now, it's about 48 feet deep. And the other day when it was running 43,000 cubic feet per second, it was closer to 56 feet deep. So if you look up, that's upstream. Oroville is 30 miles up that, that way. Kind of windy today, not too much. It's 80 degrees right now. It's not quite noon. Looks like we're going to have about 90 degree weather today. So let me go back down to the riverbank. People are always interested in the riverbank because that's what suffers when there's the yo yo effect, when the water goes up and down and up and down. And right here, it's probably not a big problem, but if you're a farmer and your farm equipment and orchards or whatever you are growing, if you're a farmer near the riverbank, as we know, they've experienced collapses. And you can see why. You can see the the muddy part, how it just like crumbles off right there. And this is just one small section of the river. So people out here fishing today, people that do boating and fishing have a lot different interpretation of the drawdown of the river yo-yoing uh, than the farmers do, obviously. So let me go back here and I'm going to go back 
back up and show you the view from where I was on the 28. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I was standing right here on the 28th. And when I was looking in the distance, just that sandbar there could be seen. There was water on both sides of it. On the side here closest to me. And then you can see that rock that's always a measuring tool for me. That it's no water on it today. Okay. I think I'm gonna end this video. Well, wait a minute. Let me pan around. There you go. Hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. See you later.